What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Ignition on iOS 12. If you guys don't know what Ignition is, it's basically kind of an alternative to Cydia application similar to Tweakbox, the Tutu app, stuff like that. It allows you to download uh, applications like Moviebox, um, paid apps for free, uh, also jailbreak applications, all the good stuff. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and jump into Safari on your device. And I will uh, will leave the link for this down in the description for those of you that do want to download it. Uh, I really like how they have the website set up for Ignition. I think it's a really cool look. If we scroll down here, as you can see, it just, it just looks really nice to me. But all you got to do is click on Ix Install Ignition, click on Allow, and it will allow you to set up a profile here. Just go ahead and click on install in the top right there and then if you have a passcode uh, on your device go ahead and input that now and click on install one more time at the bottom and now the profile and the application have been installed so we can exit out of safari and as you guys can see there is ignition so if we go ahead and open up the ignition application i'll show you guys what it's all about i like the style i like the layout uh, it, it just works really nicely also there is an anti-revoke application that is offered through this uh, which is called uh, Lazar Lazarus, I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's go ahead and close out this ad. Uh, Lazarus, yeah, so that's the anti-revoke application. Uh, if you guys are sick of your apps getting revoked, you can go ahead and try that out um, and stop them from getting revoked. Uh, but if we scroll down here, as you can see, there are the different sections. You have the App Store section here, basically paid apps that are from the App Store you can get for free and try out. Uh, you have the emulator section. I'm pretty shocked by the emulator section just because there's so many emulators in here that I've never heard of. So I have a lot of testing and trying out to do of some of these. Uh, but you can get the normal like GBA for iOS. You can get uh, GBC.EMU. Uh, if we keep scrolling here, there's some other things like Happy Chick, which I've covered in the past, which is a really cool application. Uh, but like I said, there's a lot of emulators in this section that I've never heard of or tried. So I was pretty shocked. To see you know all of the different emulators that ignition offers next up is entertainment so music and movies uh, also television stuff like that arrow tv this is where you're going to find bobby movie uh, cartoon hd channels is pretty neat allows you to watch live television channels for free uh, you also have downcloud you can download soundcloud songs uh, this is also where you're going to find cody and movie box is somewhere there's movie box and a bunch of other stuff popcorn time all the big names uh, next up we have the games section there's only four games here um, it's pretty interesting you can get flappy bird which I thought was pretty cool I have not seen that game in a long time and I know it's kind of a, a cringy game but I thought it was very interesting that you can download flappy bird through ignition I thought that was pretty cool Next up, you have your jailbreaks section. I just like how they have these all, you know, separate in sections. You got Uncover, um, the newest version. That's what I'm using on my iPhone 7 Plus. You got Electra. Um, all the jailbreaks can be found here. Home Depot, even Pangu, old stuff, the Phoenix jailbreak, uh, all the goods. So we keep scrolling here. You got Social. So you got Fortune and iTweet Deck. You got Tweaked apps right here. So Bobby Movie Plus Plus, Sarah Cube, there's just a ton of different stuff within Ignition, Facebook, uh, Instagram Rocket, I covered that a little while ago, Instagram Plus Plus, a bunch of stuff. Also Movie Box Plus Plus, so I believe that's the non-advertised version or there's no ads in it, so you can get that from Ignition as well. And then there's a unknown section, Lazy Man, Netflix Checker, no idea what those are. You got utilities, air record, air shoe, battery life. I've used that app before. It's actually pretty cool. It kind of does a diagnosis to your to your battery on your device. File browser, files of iOS 11.3, files of jailed. So you can get files of through Ignition as well. Like I said, guys, there's just a ton of stuff. You got iFile, even iDevice walls. That's a really cool application to get wallpapers. But uh, like I said, there's a ton of stuff to get from the Ignition app. There's some sections down here. You can have um, a username and password to sign in. You also have alerts here. So this is kind of its feed that's, you know, from whoever uh, runs the Ignition app, lets you know what's going on with it with certain apps and stuff like that. And then you do have app requests on the right there, but 
the main section is just here to download all the different cool applications. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. That is Ignition. That's how you're going to get it on iOS 12. It's definitely a really cool application to have on your device. Again, the link for it is down in the description for those of you that do want to download it and try it out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.